Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mary Barfield. I'm a first time homeschooling mama to a four and a half and a six and a half year old. And today's video is going to be a follow up video to a previous one I created uh, where I was talking about the phonics program we're using for our four and a half year old to teach her to read. I had gotten a few requests from some of you guys asking for me to do a comparison video between that program, which is the <laughs> Ordinary Parent's Guide to Teaching Reading, and a comparison between what we used for my uh, six and a half year old, which was the Elemental Phonics series, with the one where there's three books, three levels. So just a little preface before we dig into these curriculums, um, my kiddos have different backgrounds when it comes to their understanding of phonics. My youngest uh, has never gone to another school where she learned phonics. It was a clean start with me, which was great because like, you know, no bad habits learned, but also she knew nothing. So that's also a little terrifying as a homeschooling mom because reading, I think, is one of those things where as a homeschooling mom, you're like, we've got to get this right or she's not gonna be able to learn anything because if you can learn to read, you can learn anything because you can read about science, you can read about history and learn about that, but if you can't read, you can't learn it, right? So that's kind of a terrifying thought, being handed this child who knows nothing and you're like, oh, it's all on me right now, folks. <laughs> Whereas with my oldest daughter, she had gone to a charter school for kindergarten and when she graduated, she was exposed to um, you know, letters and their sounds and things like that. And they were kind of doing some CVC work, but not a ton. So when she came out of there, she had more exposure than my youngest did when I first started working with her. Um, and then, so when I did work with her, it was just, we were off to the races. She picked up really quick. Um, I also think that she has more of a natural inclination towards reading. Um, my youngest starter, Actually, I used to think she didn't, but I don't know. I think she does. Maybe we were just using the wrong program with her, you know? Um, so I think it just depends on your student's learning style, which program works best for you. Let me preface anything I'm about to say with, I think both of these programs are absolutely amazing programs. I truly believe it makes a difference on your child's learning style, what their um, already understanding of letters and phonics and phonograms and blends is. Um, and also your teaching style because they are very different in the way that they work with um, for the uh, parent who's teaching the child. Um, they have very different uh, ways of approaching it. So without further ado, let's get into the different curriculums and the uh, differences between the two of them. So to start off, I'm just going to do a quick introduction of both of the programs for you guys just so you know what they're all about. So Elemental Phonics is a three series level one, level two, and level three uh, phonics program from JDA Learning Resources. I got these off Amazon. I think it was $15 for each book. So you're looking at about $45 for the entire program. Um, I think all of them are 15. I might be wrong. I'll link them down below if you guys want to go check those out and see what the prices are now. Now, the way this series works is they it's very much simplified. It is a very, very simple curriculum. There are no frills, no colors. I think there's one other color besides black and white that's used and it's red. As you can see here, it's very simplistic. So this program does expect you to have already taught your child the letters and the sounds they make before you really start getting into this program. So they do kind of put that on you, like, hey, you guys have to work with your child and when your child knows those, then let's dig in with level one. So the concept behind the program is that, again, very simple. You will have your child point with their, your fingers on the dots and see the line, the arrow going this way. So they'll go b, a, ba, and then b, a, ba. And so it's you're supposed to pronounce one of the sounds, then the other, and then you blend them together. And so you go through this for a little bit, right? Until you start getting to, CBC words. So you you have about 19 lessons of just blending two letters together, simplistic letters with your short vowel sounds. And then you move into CBC words. And they do it in the fashion where it's, you just change the first letter. So you're getting used to the uh, at, that at blend, and then they will just change the first phonogram. So your child learning have here will have gone b, at. So mat, cat, so they're only changing that first blend, which makes it a little easier for them, right? And then you'll go through that for a couple of lessons too, until you hit lesson 44. 
and then you're gonna start reading sentences. In the first level, they have your kid reading full-on sentences. Now, these are very simplistic sentences, of course, and so nothing crazy. And I do stand corrected, I forgot, they did have like little pictures next to these first sentences, but I don't think that carries on into level uh, two. And then the last lesson you will do here is one of those simplistic sentences that you're reading. So as you could tell, there was nothing for the parent. However, when you're dealing with these kind of blends, it's pretty simplistic. Your par the parent doesn't necessarily need, I guess, handholding in that respect. It's pretty much, you know, you open it and you see what you have to do, right? There is no parent guide goes with that with, with this. This is just the book that you're using. I'll do a quick flip through of level two so you can kind of see how it progresses real um, because it gets a little tougher. So then we're doing actual uh, blends. So you have blue, blue, right? The blue blend. So blab, blob. And again, there's no instruction to the t uh, teacher. You just are kind of meant to just go with it. So you'll do these and then the child will read the sentences below for additional practices. Now, occasionally, especially in level two, you'll get one like this, a little note in the word, in this word, the C is silent, but they don't explain why. It doesn't explain the rules of why it's silent. And that was fine for my oldest daughter. She just picked it up and she went. Again, natural inclination to reading. So that wasn't a problem for her. But for my youngest, this is where this kind of stuff was a problem. She's like, well, why? I don't understand. And then she wouldn't remember that it was supposed to be silent the next time she read it because she, there, she didn't have a rule for it, basically. And at the end of level two, you will uh, finish up working with two letter blends and that's it. And then you will move on to level three. This is where it gets a little tougher, right? And there's a little bit more instruction for the parent. You'll see up here long, long vowel A as in A-E, A dash E, meaning the dash is a consonant. I didn't really understand that, again, because there's no instructions until I started working through this and I was like, oh, I see A dash E. So the, the dash is for a consonant. It is semi-intuitive. I'm not going to say it's not, but I think that the only thing that would make this program a little better is if there was initial notes before each le lesson for the teacher, or if they had a separate teacher's guide just to give those little bits. It doesn't need a lot, but a little bit would go a long way, I think, with this program. Um, but again, I didn't really think anything of it because it was working for my kiddo, and I was like, let's just, let's just go. Um, but you'll see, a long vowel A sound is a vowel sound that is pronounced the same way as the name of the letter A itself. So they're just explaining what a long vowel A is. It's A itself. <laughs> but pretty minimal instruction. You know, you go here and there's no instruction. So you'll see randomly throughout the level, they do provide instruction here and there. And they go through quite a few of the um, different blends like um, A and A, A versus O. So as you can see, and then they'll have reading exercises where it's just sentences to review what you've learned before. It goes through the rules. I'm not saying it doesn't, it is phonetical in nature, but there's no handholding. There's no explanation. Well, there's minimal explanation of why we would do this in this situation versus another, why we'd re would read it like that versus another. It has wonderful reviews and I'm one of those who would give it wonderful reviews because it worked so well for my oldest daughter. However, I think one, she has a natural inclination towards reading. She liked the like no frills of it. She liked, let's just do it. Let's, you know, she felt accomplished when she finished a pace. So she liked how fast pace it was. Um, two, she had previous experience working with another teacher in kindergarten on CBC blend. So she had some prior phonetical experience. My youngest daughter, when she came up, I was like, oh, so this works so great. We're gonna do this with her. It's gonna be awesome. Um, no, <laughs> she did not like it. She was like, got frustrated. She's like, I don't understand it. Like, she just did not connect at all with the material. And that's fine because she is my analytical child who needs more information and understanding as to why we are doing something the way we are, which is why Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading worked so well with her. I'm not going to go into a full 
uh, blown review of this because it would one make this video way too long and two I already did a review on this I'll link that up above and down below um, but the difference between that program and this program is one the books so you have a teacher's guide and you have a student guide and you only have to buy these two for the entire phonetical program the way I always describe it is that if you were to buy all the levels of all about reading in one book this would be the one book books, I guess, the one, two books that you have to buy, right? But one book for you, one book for your student. And then you're it, that's it, you're done. Once you finish this, you are done with phonics. And then you just move on to reading amazing pieces of literature and continuing to hone your reading skills. Well, the student will do that, right? But there are 231 lessons in this book. Here's the last one. It's uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. By the end of this book, your child should be able to read supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but the, it's much different in the approach that it takes. It is phonetically guided, right? We're learning phonics. And this is from the well-trained mind, which is classical education, the way that, in the style that they teach. So there's a lot of repetition a lot of poems to memorize um and it's a lot of um hands-on back and forth talking with the child this holds your hand it is completely scripted unlike um elemental phonics so here's um here's an example so you see the instructor is gonna say about a because you learn your vowels first and that's the thing it starts you off at the beginning with your letters and your sounds and making sure that they can recognize them we had done a gentle letter a week pre-skate school program with my youngest daughter so she kind of knew some of her letters but not all of them and she didn't really have them solidly down within five or yeah, gosh within t three weeks of this program she had she was able to do all of them and she was starting to read words around our house like dog she read dog randomly one day and then she spelled lot l-o-t and i was like that came out of nowhere <laughs> so this was my kid that i was concerned wasn't going to enjoy reading three weeks prior and then she was spelling words all around the house but here's a better example of the scripting so you can see this and then it runs you through and i thought it might be a little clunky when i first was thinking about doing this program i'm like Am, is it gonna be weird if i'm looking down reading and then i'm looking up at her and is she always going to answer the way that you know they suggest that she might answer it's insane how much she responds the way they expect her to in the script. It is so funny. It's because of the way they ask the questions. It, she gives the right answer back. But it's also because the program works. Now, um, it also has games in here too. The only thing that you have to buy or create outside of this book and this book is you either need blank index cards because you're going to write your kids uh, letters on there when you're going through the letters and then blends and things like that or you can purchase them in PDF form or you can purchase a printed copy off the wellTrainedmindpress.com and they will send them to you but that's the only other item you would need to facilitate this we just went with blank index cards because we have a million of them around my house <laughs> and I have an index box for her um, so it's hands-on it's auditory it's um, visual they're attacking all the different ways that a learner would learn. So I think this program would be better more universally across different students and different learning styles. Whereas I think this is for more of a specific style student. We haven't gotten rid of it because I might use it just for practice as she's starting to learn her blends, have her then go do the corresponding blends in here and just use it as extra practice at this point, supplementary for her. Um, the other thing that I thought was great about this program um, and that's different than Elemental Phonics is in the beginning of the book, they talk about um, uh, how the book was created, how it came to be, their um, learning, their understanding of reading and the science behind it. And then in the back, there's a ton more information for the parent to read about even before the student's ready to read. Um, you know, what can they do to start learning how to read? Hold on one second, my daughter's here. What? Okay, give me two more seconds. I'm almost done here, okay? Okay, two more seconds and I'll get them for you, okay? Okay, I'll be right there. 
um, they make they need sticks. They're making photo props <laughs> um, for art. But so yeah, so pre-reading and it talks about what you can be doing with your child to set them up for success before using this program. Um, and then you know tips on managing your um, phonics teaching lessons. Encourage your child to be a reader. Questions and answers um, frequently asked for the ordinary parent. There's just so much information in here um, to help again the parent. Very much more hand holding. Uh oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna the camera. Um, just so you guys know, I don't put my kids on the, on uh, YouTube um, just for their safety. And you know, when, when they get older in the future, if they decide they want to, that's fine. But right now, they can't consent to doing that, so I just kind of keep them off. Um, but that's pretty much it. So more robust hand holding. Um, both very economically priced, by the way. So these together, I think was $60, maybe a little less. It was 50 something, 50 and change. Um, and then all three of these levels together were 45. So not terribly different in price. They are full programs. This is all you would need. This is all you would need, except blank, blank index cards or the uh, cards that they provide. Um, but they're very different in their approach. Classical education, hands-on, auditory, visual, this is very bare bones, get it done, uh, you know, uh, black and white pages, no colors, no frills, but this has amazing reviews. It works. This has amazing reviews. It works. You just need to figure out which one would work best for your student and your learner. I hope that this video gave you a little bit of a better sense of which one would work best for your student. Um, like I said, I enjoyed both of them, but I also have two very different learners. And so I picked the right one for my oldest and then I picked the right one for my youngest. So um, if you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Love to have you stick around. We make all sorts of fun content over here. Definitely homeschool related for the most part with a little bit of fitness, a little bit of mom life, a little bit of everything, right? Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh my baby, got me staring at you So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me We won't stop, got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride 